Episode 42. Episode 42. Welcome. Welcome. He's Chris. Aaron. He Aaron. 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 Or Aaron. 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 Whatever. Whatever you're If you've done messed up. Yeah, well, not today yet. Not yet. We haven't got As far through, as we know. We haven't got through the show we'll yet. We'll find that out tomorrow. Whoa, why tomorrow? If you messed up today. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. 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 So, tonight, we're going to have another update. Grandpa's Drift Missile. Uh, we got a body, and uh, the next upgrade is going to come on this baby. Chris just put a, a Hobby Wing uh, 1080 brushed crawler speed control in there yeah. to test out on his uh, TRX-4. As you can tell, Christmas time. It's just around the corner. So I was not aware that I was to wear a sweater, so next you week, will see it next week. Next week, if you drop the ball, you're done. You're cut. That's all it takes? Yep. Ooh, <laughs> don't, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about some things that make a good stocking stuffer. For your RC enthusiast. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And I also took the UDR out, so we've got some footage for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. So let's get right into it. Bing, bang, boom. Bob's your uncle. You want to talk about this first? Yeah, sure. Because you're cool. Talk about your stuff. Nothing major with this guy. So we put in the new Hobby Wing. Quick run. Yeah. WP 1080. 1080. 80 amp brushed waterproof speed controller. Yep. And that also comes with a program card. So that was pretty nice. Yep. Uh, so we're going to try to get that out on the trails this weekend for some footage next week. Yeah, so this is a, a new lineup we talked about. We, we did some on like Hobby Wing unboxing mm -hmm. stuff uh, in previous episodes. Um, but now we're going to put it to the test. If it can handle Chris Debert and his hard, <laughs> hard ability to wreck RCs. Like he's hard on stuff. Really hard on stuff. So if it can handle Chris Debert, we'll it'll most definitely be able to handle the general consumer. Not a fan of brush, but for winter, until I throw in the Hobby Wing Axe system, that'll do. We're almost getting him converted or something. It's awesome. Yeah. But no, the Hobby Wing stuff, like this speed control in particular, is like 64 bucks. Yeah, it was cheap, and that's the nice thing about it. You get a waterproof, you get high amperage. Yeah, it's good good quality it's programmable, stuff. programmable, so yep. good quality stuff. And electronic switch. Yeah, and the button is really nice. It's clicky. Sorry. I'm addicted to the click. Okay, get this thing out of here. It's too cool for us. Okay, so next up, Grandpa's Drift Missile. We've been seeing some stuff as of late with uh, the links being done. We did the servo last week. So now this week is the grand unveiling of its body. So I already got flack on this. It's been posted on Facebook. It's just you guys on YouTube haven't seen it yet. We had a, a hater on the wagon body. Yeah, haters going to hate. But here it is. The wagons are cool. Here it is. Grandpa's Drift Missile Body, R34 Stasia. And if you can guess what paint scheme this is from, what exact movie this is from, and everything, you're cool. Come yeah, to the store and I'll job. give you a crisp high five. Good job. Good job. <laughs> you're, you're cool. So you win. 
Today we're going to talk about mounting the body with these yeah racing uh, body mounts. These are magnetic body mounts, so there's no need to drill holes in the body. Mm -hmm. So we're going to install those, talk about how to set them up and stuff next. So we're going to put on the yeah racing magnetic body mounts. So uh, Grandpa's Drift Missile's getting the new body as you've seen in uh, the show there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick time lapse and a, a little bit of an explanation on how to get these set up properly. I know a lot of people struggle with putting the magnets on, Chris Debert included, the guy filming this I don't this like right the now. magnets. I doesn't like the magnets. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I told him the way I'm gonna do it and he was pretty intrigued by uh, how I was gonna do it. So yeah. uh, we'll time lapse the, the put on of them uh, and then get this body kind of mounted. So stick around. We got the body on, we got the, our stance the way we want it. I have to trim the fenders out just a little bit and we got to drop the rear height down a little bit. want it more to be kind of right in there. So it's got a little bit of fine tuning. Uh, before this video gets too long, what we're going to do is going to give you a quick idea of how we uh, set up the body uh, and how. So these are clamped right onto here? Yep. Correct. And so is there are... a pin through there as well? No, nope, double grub screw. Just double grub screw? Yeah. So normally what I do to set up my magnets is I'll put them on all four corners. Let's grab the other two out here. Don't pinch your fingers with those magnets, they're strong. Yeah, so I'll put them on, and then I'll go grab our shoe goo that we have here in the store. So this stuff is like the best thing ever since sliced bread, shoe goo. Uh, and what you wanna do is clean the body really, really good uh, where the magnets are gonna mount. Um, so you want to take like a brake clean or something like that and just degrease it, make sure there's no fingerprints or anything else on there, as well as the magnets. And what we'll do is I'll just put uh, a dab of shoe goo on each one of those magnets just to get it so we can place the body on, set it to where we want it, and then just leave it. Let the weight of the body adhere to the shoe goo. Uh, and then the nice thing is if you need to move it around a little bit, you can. Uh, and then you kind of leave it overnight and then you can take the body off once the shoe, shoe goo is cured uh, and then you can add some extra shoe goo after you're done. So that's how I do it. Uh, I know a lot of people do it different ways and struggle a little bit, but uh, I find that to be the easiest. It's a little bit more work after because you are, you know, shoe gooing it out uh, and doing a bunch of other things after. But normally uh, I'll cut and trim and shoe goo after the body's kind of mounted on the car. So. That's just me. Um, I kind of work a little bit backwards to some people, uh, but to others, it'll make a little bit more sense to do it this way versus the other way. I like so. that idea. Yeah. <laughs> You're it's welcome, cool. Deaver. Yeah. Take I'll a tip from your own I'll show. I'll be using that if I ever run Magnetic Post again. Yeah, take the tip from your own show. There so we're go. ready to slide soon, eh? Yeah, like we just got wheels and tires, uh, and then we got some other stuff coming down the line, but we can't tell you that yet. You got to keep tuning in to the Ultra RC Hobby Show. Sorry, Eddie Allen. Is that how boring you think this is? Yeah, I'm super bored. Such a jerk. Anyway, so right now we're going to talk about um, some stocking stuffers under 30 bucks to get your RC enthusiast covered for this Christmas. Ooh. So a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks, actually like 10 days. So oh, Really? Yeah, yeah like we're, so, eh? it's getting scary, down, down to the wire. But these are like the essentials that if you're just getting into the hobby, or even if you've been in the hobby for a while, mm -hmm. things that you always go through, things you always need. Things you always need. Yeah. yeah. First things first, some Loctite from Team Associated. Blue. Blue. Make always. sure it's always blue. You don't want red because that's non-removable. It's yeah. the whole purpose of red Loctite. But you put this on any sort of screw that you don't want coming loose. Right? Exactly. So anything that goes into steel, you put this on uh, just to make sure that vibrations, things like that, screws aren't going to come loose. Always still a good idea to check your screws, but definitely something really, really important if you are doing a new build, even just maintaining your build. Yeah. Not, not a bad idea. So that's about nine bucks for something like that. Unless somebody's got a few screws loose. Yeah, but that just, no, no one can fix that. What else we got here? Well, I don't know, you, you do We've got one. some utter butter available in a syringe or the glass jar. Yeah. Any type of transmission, differentials, anything that's sealed and that is gears. 
put the underbutter in there. It's nice and waterproof, so it works really good in your crawlers and your bashers, anything like that. Yeah. Huge shout out to Cal RC. Yeah. These guys have been absolutely amazing to us. Uh, we use this product exclusively in store within the shop. Mm -hmm. Personal builds. I use it in everything in my yeah, I use it on all my race stuff too. The best part about the, the utter butter, in my opinion, versus like say the just regular old marine grease, mm -hmm. is it's ultra sticky. Yeah, it doesn't fling as much. Correct. So yeah. when you pull your dip off, you don't see all your grease on the on the case and not, none on the teeth, whereas this stuff's still gonna be on the teeth, still sticky, still greasy. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So Cow RC, huge thanks to the maintenance kings. That's what they call themselves. So the syringe is about 14 bucks, mm -hmm. uh, and the big jar is 16, the small jar is uh, 9 or 10. Uh, this stuff is also available on the Ultra RC website. So if you aren't from Saskatoon, we can always ship it out to you before Christmas. Next thing up is the Ultra uh, Awesome Cow RC Magnetic Screw, screw Catcher. catcher. So just like this pit mat that we have here that we film all our episodes on, Cow RC's got you set up with a magnetic screw catcher. So the beautiful thing with these screw catchers is you can keep everything individual. So say you wanna put all your body pins in one, say you wanna put your screws for your diff rebuild on the next one, and you can keep everything individualized and compartmentized. That's how I use it when I use mine. Is yeah. Everything from front bumper or whatever goes in one slot, then the next thing I move on goes to the next one, and that's a good way to keep your screws organized. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. And the nice thing is this falls off the table, stuff's not falling okay. down. So again, thank you to Cal RC uh, for being the maintenance kings. So this is about 17 bucks. Also available on the Ultra RC website. Next thing, what, what do we got? Ooh, double-sided tape. Always good, holding down receivers, holding down speed controllers, anything. Yeah, this stuff is definitely a must have. This is stuff you go through like nobody's business, holding down receivers like Chris said, doing anything, mounting switches. This stuff is a must. I have it in, I have like six rolls. Yeah, I've got one <laughs> have, on the table, one in my bag. Yeah, I have one at my table at home, one in my off-road bag, or my outdoor bag, one in my indoor bag. Uh, we have two here at the mm -hmm. shop. This stuff's really, really good. Never another, enough. Another under $10 stocking stuff mm -hmm. for 9 bucks. Awesome stuff. Last but not least, good set of tools. Hex drivers. Yep, hex drivers. Yeah. So everybody in RC has dealt with the stupid Allen wrenches that suck. So get them a good... Him or her, I guess. Mm -hmm. A really good set of drivers. Um, these are super basic. Uh, you get your 1.52, 2.5, and 3 millimeter hex drivers. Um, so you can put these in your backpack, have one on your bench, mm -hmm. and it's going to make life so much easier in comparison to getting blisters like on your Allen fingers keys. with Allen keys. Just like he said. So something like this is 26 bucks for all four aluminum good handles. Instead of starter tools. Yep, exactly. There's definitely tools that are worth more money, but for this purpose of the video, this yeah, is an awesome way. Perfect price point. Yep, yeah. exactly. So we have all this stuff in stock. So get it before it's gone to get your RC enthusiast some nice little goodies for a stocking. So that was, that was the end. That was the end, episode, episode 42. 42. 42. Make sure you like, comment, and then subscribe. Don't forget to share with all your friends on Facebook so they can see all this awesome action. Check us out on Snapchat. Ultra RC Hobbies. Check us out on Instagram. Ultra RC Hobbies. And don't forget to check him out on Instagram, RC Deebs. Also, don't forget to check out the website. Yeah. We just added uh, like a whole bunch of hobby wing stuff. We added some Tekken stuff. Uh, Cow RC stuff's mm -hmm. on there. Techno stuff's on there. Bunch of awesome, cool stuff. And that's UltraRCHobbies.com. Actually, no. No. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I thought it was Dutch. Do you know the phone number? Yeah. 306-934-0573. Give us a call. Yeah. So I'm just checking. I'm making sure. It's not that I I'm don't sure know what's going on. But I'm just not sure what I know what I know. It is Dutch. Hey, how's it going? I'm Chris. I'm here by myself today. Welcome to episode 42. Uh... Okay. Let's cut that out. Oh, okay. Let's cut We're that out. We're good. We're good. Let's cut that out. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's it. Thank that's you again it. for watching. We appreciate all your support. Yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode. Terrible. It's like I leave it to you. And you're what, like, what else uh, do you want me to say? Hey, thanks for joining us today. I like, hope you come back next week and check us out because we're going to do some real nice RC things.
So why did Hey, thanks for joining us today. I hope you come back next week and check us out. So we can have work, dude. This is why we can have nice things. It's a lot of work. It was just like that awkward pause at the end. It's like thanks for joining us today. I hope you come back next week and check us out. You didn't like the Tina moment. Claws burgers. How's Linda in the kitchen? Did you here? fix this yet? Yours? No, my part's coming wrong. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I gotta bring it. I, I think Chuck's it still filming. Oh. Welcome to Ultra RC Hobbies After Hours. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us today. I hope you come there. back next week yeah. and check us out. You guys are in for a treat now. Yeah. You're not gonna like it. <laughs>